Have you ever wondered about a place on Earth, untouched by modern civilization? A place that holds mysteries that we may never solve? Welcome to North Sentinel Island, a speck of land nestled in the heart of the Bay of Bengal. It's a place like no other, having been virtually undisturbed by the outside world for thousands of years. What makes it so unique? It's home to the Sentinelese tribe, a group of people who've lived on this island for over 60,000 years, almost entirely cut off from the rest of humanity. Their existence is a testament to the endurance of the human spirit, living life as their ancestors did, untouched by the passage of time or the advancement of technology. This isolation has shrouded the island and its inhabitants in mystery. Who are these people? How do they live? What secrets does the island hold? What makes this island and its inhabitants so elusive? Let's delve into the pages of history to understand better. The Sentinelese tribe, a people frozen in time, living as their ancestors did thousands of years ago. This tribe inhabiting North Sentinel Island in the Indian Ocean is a true enigma of our modern world. With an estimated population ranging from 50 to a few hundred, the Sentinelese have managed to remain largely untouched by the progress of civilization, living a hunter-gatherer lifestyle that echoes the dawn of human history. Their existence is a testament to the adaptability of the human spirit, surviving in an environment that is as beautiful as it is hostile. Wielding primitive weapons like bows and arrows, the Sentinelese have proven themselves to be fiercely protective of their way of life, repelling nearly all attempts at contact with the outside world. Indeed, the few interactions that have occurred between the Sentinelese and outsiders read like chapters from an adventure novel. And hey, you can't blame the Sentinelese for being strict about social distancing. They've been perfecting it for centuries, making the rest of us look like amateurs. Take for instance the British colonial expedition of 1880 led by Morris Vidal Portman. Despite their superior technology, the British explorers were met with staunch resistance, forcing them to retreat and leaving them with more questions than answers. Fast forward to 1974, when a National Geographic attempted to make contact, offering coconuts and other gifts. Yet again, the Sentinelese responded with a barrage of arrows, one of which struck the director, compelling the team to beat a hasty retreat. The most recent and perhaps the most tragic encounter occurred in 2018, when American missionary John Allen Chow to introduce Christianity to the tribe. Despite warnings from local authorities, Chow ventured onto the island and was killed, his death serving as a stark reminder of the tribe's uncompromising isolation. These interactions have only deepened the mystery surrounding the Sentinelese tribe and their isolated existence. Their determined resistance to the modern world raises fascinating questions about human nature, cultural preservation, and the right to self-determination. Yet, as we continue to grapple with these questions, one thing remains clear. The Sentinelese are the true guardians of their island, and their story is a remarkable testament to the enduring power of the human spirit. Why does the Sentinelese tribe shun contact with the outside world? What makes them so fiercely protective of their isolation? These questions have intrigued scholars and adventurers alike. One theory suggests the tribe's isolation is a self-imposed safeguard. They have lived in isolation for thousands of years, and contact with outsiders could introduce diseases to which they have no immunity, jeopardizing their existence. Another perspective points to the tribe's desire to preserve their way of life, free from external influences. Their survival depends on the delicate balance of their ecosystem, and any interference could disrupt this equilibrium. Adding to this is the Indian government's policy of non-interference. Recognizing the tribe's right to live as they choose, the Indian government has granted legal protection to the tribe and the island. Therefore, any unsolicited contact is not only dangerous, but also illegal. The North Sentinel Island and its inhabitants remain an enigma, a testament to human survival in its most primal form. As we step into the future, the mystery of North Sentinel Island continues to baffle us. This far-flung speck of land, nestled in the azure waters of the Indian Ocean, harbors secrets that have remained untold for centuries. The Sentinelese tribe, guardians of this island, live a life untouched by our modern world, 
a testament to human resilience and adaptability. The few interactions we've had with them have only deepened the enigma. Their fierce self-reliance and their choice of isolation are not signs of backwardness, but a deliberate decision to safeguard their way of life. It's a stark reminder of the diversity of human societies and the importance of respecting each one's unique path. In a world that's racing towards uniformity, the North Sentinel Island stands as a bastion of difference, an enduring symbol of the myriad ways in which humanity can thrive. In an age of instant connections and digital revolutions, the North Sentinel Island reminds us that some mysteries are better left unsolved.